Hello, a quick video on this little panda that I picked up. 1.2, it's the old fire engine from the 80s. Uh, parked up for a while. The owner, previous owner, says it's hunting, and sure enough, it does. You start it from cold and it wants to rev to 3000, drops down a bit, revs again, it's hunting. It's going up and down and up and down. First things first to put the OBD reader on it and there's no codes. Looked at the live data and everything looks normal. Check your throttle position sensor. Check your uh, map sensor. Make sure those readings are right. There's a lot of people online with this problem and there's a lot just chucking bits and bits and bits at it and it's still doing the same thing. So check them basics, and the first thing I did after I done that was took the air cleaner off, and I blocked off the throttle body when it was running, and it's still running. That's not right. If you put your hand over the throttle body, I wouldn't advise it in case it sucks a glove in, or it's probably not very good for your hand. But the engine should stall, so it's obviously sucking air from somewhere. Check the basics. Had a look at the brake booster, this pipe, uh, if that's cracked it will cause you problems. Uh, what else was there? There's some breathers on the engine that go to the airbox. That, let me show you that, that possibly could cause you a problem but it wouldn't do this because it's, it's, it's upstream of the of the throttle body. So basically, if you put your hand on the throttle body and the engine's still running, you've got problems. You've got air getting in somewhere. This is the breather here. I think it goes into the manifold and it also goes up to the, the air box. So, scratching my head. Yeah goes into the manifold there so that could cause you problems if that pipe's cracked or broken what I did find though is this I put a straight edge on these bottom two nuts and then you pick that up but basically what's happened is it's got that art that these nuts have pulled through can see that should be enough yeah it's pulled through so the space has stayed where it is and what's happened is the manifold has come forward like this and it's allowed the bottom of these gaskets to see the atmosphere you can see that they're a bit the colored the black like it's been sucking air in so whether this is a symptom of something else or whether it's just got too hot and it's pulled this this forward, I don't know. It's quite a simple fix. I'll grind these off. I'll probably take all the gaskets out and just face this manifold up again. You could buy a second hand one, probably easier, quicker. And I'll perhaps fit some bigger washers on the back of these nuts. But I wanted to make this video because there's a lot of people out there chucking bits at these cars and really you've got to get back to basics, look at the simple things. What did it for me is when I put my hand over the throttle body and it's still sucking air in. I checked these simple things, the, the brake booster, um, the EVAP as well, you have to look at that, that could let air in and obviously this, this breather here. I got to a point where I had to take the manifold off and have a look and sure enough there it was. There's a lot of people chucking bits at these not having any solutions and I think it could be this. I don't know what's caused it to, to get pulled forward. Maybe it's something to do with the airbox. There is a spring on the airbox at the front. I don't know why it's got so hot to allow it to do that. But I thought I'd make this video just, just give some people a heads up as to what it could be. Please subscribe and it'll help me make more of these, invest some more time, make some better videos. Um, thank you.